This tastes like the best artichoke heart you've ever had. Hi, I'm Rick Orlando. Today we're gonna cook an artichoke, but before we do that, I'm gonna show you what I learned working in classy French kitchens growing up in the 80s and what you're supposed to do with an artichoke. To me, it's sacrilege, but let me show you how an artichoke is cleaned in a French kitchen. We were taught, first you do, you peel off all these outer leaves. Then, once you get them down a bit, you feel, let me look a little more, to where this little ridge is here, see that? And you take a serrated knife and you literally cut all this off. And all this goes in the garbage. Then you're down to this. What if you are a wealthy French restaurant and you want to make a fancy artichoke dish, you use this. If you're an Italian like me, all of this was being wasted that we're gonna turn into food. Now, what I used to do when I was a kid in prep, I would prep these for the chef, and then I would take all this and just boil it and dip them in butter. But stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how a real Italian makes an artichoke. You don't need dipping sauce, you don't need butter, you don't need mayonnaise, because we're gonna make it right in the pan. Hey everybody, it's Rick Orlando. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget, hit that little pink icon on the bottom corner there to subscribe. Subscribing really is important. I'm asking you kindly, please subscribe. So today we're going to make something really quick and easy. It's going to take about 40 minutes on the stove, but it's really easy to prep. I'm going to teach you how to cook an artichoke. I can't tell you when I post pictures of me eating artichokes, how many people message me and tell me how complicated it is to make artichokes. So let me show you. First of all, you want a nice tight little artichoke, see? Now, there are the um, little spindles on the end of the leaves, and some places like to go around and clip the little ends off so that you don't poke your fingers. You don't have to do that. It kind of makes them look nice. Um, the funny thing is when you clip them, can you see? They go flying all over the place. So that's up to you, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut the top off just about a half an inch off the top like that. See that? So it's nice and open there. And then we're going to take off the stem, but the stem is super valuable. You know, this is a thistle plant. The stems have a ton of flavor. So what we're going to do with this, we're going to use this as part of our deliciousness later. So what we're going to do is take off the dark end and take off this end. I'm just going to take a peeler and clean off the fibery outer skin, the same way you would do with asparagus, possibly, if you ever did that, uh, or with broccoli, possibly. You can do this to all of them. Once you get down to the soft center, this tastes like the best artichoke heart you've ever had. So let's put this aside. Let's move this stuff. Now, we're going to cook two. I already have one prepped in the pot, but I'm going to show you the trick. This is a trick from my mother, who's from her mother. Turn it upside down. It's on that cut side. Take your hand and go one, two, three. Look at that. Get your frustrations out. See, you know, now some people I know now will start cutting all the way the leaves and cutting away all the heart. We want all this good stuff. The only part we're going to not eat, and I'll show you in the next video when we do how to eat an artichoke, is the little actual choke. So look, there's my artichoke. So here's what we're going to do. If I'm not going to do these right away, I want to toss them in some lemon juice because they will oxidize and start to turn dark. But if we're going to do this one right away, which we are, we smash it a few times. Let's open it up. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze some lemon on it, generous amount. Now, and we're going to put more on later. I'm going to take a clove of garlic and slice it nice and thin. Shave them down there. And we're going to start tucking these in between the leaves. You don't need a ton because the garlic gives off a lot of flavor. Let me tell you, when you see this at the end, you're going to realize that we're going to make our own dipping sauce just from the cooking juices of this because that's how delicious the artichoke could be. So these guys are all tucked in there. Nice and nice, right? Now we take our artichoke bottom. Same thing, just like the garlic. Cut it nice and thin. 
we're going to take it and put it all around the top like this all right tuck it in there I'm going to take another piece of lemon let's take the lemon we did already I just want to take a little bit of the outer part of the lemon like so like so like so I'm talking to you right like so I'm going to tuck a few of these around this is going to give us some more brightness and now we're going to tuck it in the pan next to the one I already prepped see they're nice and snug so now we're going to go with lemon juice I can squeeze lemon but if you guys have this Italian lemon juice it's really good if you have the American real lemon juice you can use that to clean your toilet but don't eat it this is really delicious generous amount of lemon juice you want enough lemon juice in here to kind of get into the bottom of the pan now the olive oil I got some nice Sicilian oil here let's make the glugging sound glug 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 all right can you see in there we want to make sure we have lemon juice and olive oil kind of coating the bottom excuse me now we're gonna add water I'm gonna come up come up about a third of the way up the artichokes with the water give it a nice sprinkle of salt all around in the water in the artichokes we're gonna take a lid cover these and put them on to a boil once they come to a rolling boil we turn them down to a medium boil and we stick around after about 20 minutes keep your ears peeled ears peeled because if you start to hear a crackling like frying add more water what you're going to end up with after about 35 minutes maybe 40 depending on the size of the artichokes let me grab a nice spoon here is beautiful artichoke cooked just like this and honestly you don't need a dipping sauce because all that artichoke juice and lemon juice and salt and garlic and olive oil becomes your dipping sauce so then well first of all look those little pieces of buttery stem are right there mm. take your artichoke like that eat that good part my name is Rick Orlando you're watching my YouTube channel I want you to subscribe because you're my pal go to my website rickorlando.com you can find my spices my hot sauces tons of recipes and stories and next time you see somebody taking an artichoke and cutting everything away just to get to the heart, slap them and tell them, I'll eat everything. I'll give you the heart when I'm done. Thanks for watching. You know, I forgot to tell you. People ask me, how's that light? Good. How do you know when your artichoke is done? Well, check it out. So it's been simmering. You got the olive oil. Take the outer leaves and give them a tug. And if they come right off, like that look no resistance you're done they come right off no resistance you're ready to eat so enjoy your artichoke watch for my next video by subscribing on how to eat an artichoke and i will show you how it's done